Oh my god. I overslept. <laughs> Chocolate smoothie. Right, because I'm running late, um, I need to edit yesterday's video, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it done. So it's gonna be another late night in the office, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I'll catch you when I get home. I'll try and like film my lunch if I have an exciting lunch. But because we haven't been going shopping, I have been just having fruit for lunch because I haven't been bothered to cook anything because we just don't have any food. So hopefully when we go shopping, I'm gonna have way more exciting lunches to show you instead. So I'll see you when I'm at home. Bye. So sweaty. Oh, I just got back from work. Oh my god, you know when you have those days where you just, everything goes a bit wrong, well not days, but I like couldn't find my key anywhere, I have no idea where I put it, so I had to cycle to my workmate's house to borrow her key and then cycle all the way back to the office and lock up. Oh, what a nightmare. Sorry, I've just ranted at you because Alex isn't home. <laughs> um, he's popped out for the evening and he is so lovely, he's made me dinner, so he... Um, put those falafels in the oven, which I've just switched on to heat up and um, He's chopped up some some vegetables not some vegetables some salad. It looks like he hasn't eaten though um, He said he was gonna eat and then go out because he's made this hummus from the happy pear book Yeah, he has eaten He's just put that back obviously for the because we have lots of fruit flies from the bananas He's obviously done that to stop the flies getting in there. Yeah, I'm just heating up the falafels in here they're actually pretty warm, so I think they're done. And I'm gonna put them in some pita breads. Let me just whack a couple of those in the toaster. Yeah, if you didn't see my haul video yesterday, I, so I've got sweat all over my face. If you didn't see my haul video yesterday, Alex bought some falafels from uh, Sainsbury's, the cauldron brand. And, oh look, he's gone shopping. Yes, got my favourite cereal. This is my favourite cereal of all time, by the way. So he got some falafels. Um, go watch that haul if you didn't, because he bought loads of really fun vegan food. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'll probably have like two or three falafel wraps. I'll get back to you after dinner, because I'm very hungry. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all assembled. It's a really simple, easy meal if you just can't be bothered, um, just to make sort of like a falafel sandwich type of thing. I'm so like, oh my God, I need to drink some water. <sighs> There they are assembled. In them, as you saw, is hummus, falafel, cucumber, tomato, I put some harissa on as a last minute thing, and also some coriander, and I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice in there as well. And in this one, I just tried out, because I'm, oh no, there's some coriander in there, because I'm trying out this kimchi. Often when you get falafels off of like food stalls, they have like pickled um, chilies in there, so I thought that that's kind of a similar taste so I added that in. I'm gonna absolutely devour these, watch on YouTube and yeah, so excited. He's with his mummy while I watch Bachelor in Paradise. Mm. 
Ah, oh, that was so delicious. I had three of them and I could have another. I feel really bad because today's vlog has just been absolutely nothing. I couldn't even show you like me making dinner because Alex made dinner. I was in a rush this morning so I didn't even like chat this morning. And it's like nearly eight o'clock and I've only just sort of finished eating and I guess that's the problem with daily vlogging if you work as well because I was thinking about this earlier. I was like, imagine if I don't know, obviously your mind wanders and I thought imagine if I actually started to do YouTube more and gain more followers and started to do it as like a full time thing because that is the ultimate goal. I would absolutely love to make YouTube like a full time thing more than anything because I enjoy it so much. Just vlogging in general and spreading veganism and spreading like, I don't know, just sharing my like eating disordered past and helping people because I've had like a handful of messages from people about um, the fact that they can relate to my eating disorder story or they found that my 3000 calorie video is really helpful for them and honestly it just it ma it like makes me like really emotional thinking about it because it just that's the whole I know this sounds so cheesy right now I didn't even mean to be talking about this but it just makes me so happy because that's the intention of this whole like me doing YouTube from the start I started it out because I absolutely loved watching other people on YouTube and there are a handful of other people on YouTube who helped me overcome my eating disorder and I wanted to spread that as well because I realised that these people are just ordinary people like me who just happen to have some good advice and have had those experiences and have shared them and showed them how they recovered and it's so important for people who have gone through stuff to talk about it and share that with people because even just me just making a video saying I had an eating disorder and this is what happened help someone because someone's going to relate and someone's going to go oh my gosh I had that too I don't even know where I began this conversation this is a really huge talent of mine is just talking and talking and talking about everything Alex sometimes sits there and I can see him zoning out because I've just started talking about god knows what oh yeah I was saying that because I don't do YouTube full time, it can be hard to make daily vlogs interesting. Yeah, some days are just boring because I do have a full time job, so I can't fill that day with interesting things all the time because I'm at work for the majority of the day. I don't know, recently I've just been doing them every single day, and not only that, but when I was doing daily vlogs a while back, I was doing them every single day and just making them just ordinary daily vlogs, just vlogging what I was doing. But then I started to get into YouTube a bit more and I had all these different ideas of certain videos that I really wanted to make so I started to try and focus on making each video about something that I really wanted to make a video on and that's meant me putting more effort into it and editing takes longer then because editing a daily vlog is really quick but editing like a sit down talk on my eating disorder or like yesterday's haul video takes a lot longer to edit because it's a lot more footage obviously yeah the mind does wonder because I think like when I go traveling and stuff next year because I don't know if I've said that a lot in this videos but I'm going traveling next year I want to go to Thailand I really want to go to the Thai fruit festival see what where the wind takes me I'm not too fussed but I would like to go there for a little while I just keep on thinking about that in the future and because by then my YouTube channel will probably have grown a bit it will be so much fun to be able to do that and it's just a weird concept for me thinking about like I feel like I'll have too much stuff to do in the day to vlog almost because I'll be experiencing new things every day and doing so much whereas at the minute I'm like oh what do I vlog today how do I make this interesting sometimes that happens today has not been that interesting but I hope you enjoyed watching along anyway I actually really love watching daily vlogs where they don't do much that's one of my favorite types of videos because it's like I think it, the reason that that's so appealing like Alex doesn't get why I like watching like daily vlogs I always have done I've watched YouTube I've been watching YouTube since I was about 15, so about not eight or nine years, so I'm 24 now. I remember watching like makeup videos to begin with because that was what was kind of really, really popular. I know it's still popular on YouTube, but that was kind of the only thing. And then people started to do daily vlogging, but I've always loved like reality TV and stuff. Like right now I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise and I've always liked Big Brother. I think because I just love watching, I'm nosy. I love watching other people interact with other people. And I like seeing like the behind the scenes of their lives. That's why part of the reason why I chose daily vlogging as my format because I think that if you're going to start up a YouTube channel you should do the kinds of videos that you enjoy watching. I just thought like I have so many little tips and tricks up my sleeve that I've learned along the way about veganism and how I eat and about health and about just life in general so there's nothing wrong with me having a video that's not like 
full of fun stuff because I think it's just fascinating and interesting to people to watch and talk to other people in a way like I'm talking to you, you're not talking back but I'm talking to you about me and my opinions and my life and I just think that's really interesting. I love YouTube. That was a massive rant and it all went all over the place but that's why I love YouTube because anyone, absolutely anyone can get on here and talk about their life, talk about what they love, talk about their interests, talk about their passions, talk about things that matter to them. Yeah, I love YouTube. Maybe that'll be the title of this video. I love YouTube. And I love daily vlogs. I love daily vlogging. Let's look forward to the future when I am able to quit my job and go traveling and once I've saved up enough money and I can go traveling and I can take you guys with me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Here's to the future. But I'll, um, I'll end the video here and cuddle up in bed with Zeus. Where are you, Zeus? So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god, what is wrong Nothing. with you? Well, these were like, they're in the penny sale as well. Normally they're so like- 